Brought to you by C-Prime, an Atlassian Platinum and Enterprise Solution Partner and an Atlassian Verified Vendor. Power Scripts for Jira. The SIL Manager is the central repository for all scripts within Power Scripts, even those written within a workflow. It's located in the Jira administration on the Add-ins tab. You can find it in the C Prime Tools section on the left-hand nav. The left-hand side of the SIL Manager manages your scripts in folders and files. There are several sections or several folders of scripts you can view. You can view the normal SIL scripts that you write, the custom SIL scripts. You can view them in read-only mode in case you're afraid you're going to make changes and just want to view the scripts and see what they're doing. You can just only view the folders or you can view the Kepler Home. The Kepler Home holds things like the email templates and SIL aliases and some other properties. SIL alias is the name you can give a custom field instead of referring to it by its ID. Double click a folder to expand it. You can create new folders or files using the selection drop down. To create a new file in a folder, just make sure that folder is highlighted and then create a new file. You can rename the files this way, delete files, or refresh the list. There are also two storage options for a file. You can store it on the disk or on the database, and that preference is for how you may want to migrate uh, a Jira instance from dev to test the prod, whether you want to migrate the whole database or you're more comfortable migrating files on the database. You can also search for files in the search bar. And another helpful feature is the show usage button which will show you where your script is used and how it's used which is very beneficial because some scripts can have uh, an impact over many many um, objects in Jira at the same time. When using the editor you can adjust the size by using this full screen button or you can uh, grab this handle here to adjust the width. This quick links drop down also takes you to other sections of the PowerScripts admin and configuration settings and has a link for the documentation as well. When you're writing a script, you can check the syntax of your code by hitting this check button. Any errors that are found in the code will be indicated with X's next to the line. And when you're done and satisfied with your code, you just use the save button. You can also find and replace code that you're working on. And there's also a couple other settings. You can adjust the theme to be the dark mode and live autocomplete I find to be very useful when you're typing a new function it will suggest the function that you're or the routine that you're looking for I find that uh, a very useful one to turn on so that is really all there is to the sill and or the sill editor which would be this window and the sill manager very very important um, tool to using power scripts the 
PowerScript's SIL Runner gadget is a dashboard gadget that allows you to manually execute a script. To add a script to the gadget, select Edit, and then Add. Give your script a name and a description, and then select the script from the list. You can also create a custom parameters form and add it to the setup, but we're not going to do that this time. And save. You can also add security to the script in case there's an admin script that you don't want normal users executing. You can configure it so only the admins can see that script. And then just press done. So to execute a script, you select the script from the list. You can add parameters by hitting add. Uh, a common use case for this would be having a script that does a custom batch operation and you could pass jQuery as a parameter. Then to run the script, you just hit run and the results show in the console window. Now inside a SIL script, we use the runner log routine to write messages back to the console. It's very useful for debugging scripts or for running scripts that only need to be run every now and then and not on a set schedule.